Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, checking in on Bitcoin really quick. Double, the major double has not triggered, this major one did not trigger, and that is done for right now. We're taking that off. Came down to the first 81.19 level, went back to the rotation zone, formed this little double, which we're watching for an extended move and a retest or a close above that. That we just got a quick little move above that and then it collapsed down. Remember, it's also against the rotation zone. That did not trigger. So that's done. Came back down, closing on our 81.19 level, then coming down to our 79.81 level, poking just below it, but closing back above it. Now rallied back into the rotation zone. Let me clean up these charts a bit. So we can, I'm just going to update the levels for everybody now. And we'll see what is going on. It could not hold also the 50% retracement, which is not terribly positive. It didn't get all the way down to 62.5, but it did not hold the 50%. So up against rotation zone now. If we get through this, then we're going to be watching for a rally up to about the 8,500 area, which is the 50 period exponential moving average on the four hour. So switch over to the daily. Daily, so that 8,500 is right also, 8,475 to 8,500 is right where the 8 EMA is on the daily. So that's the first major level of resistance. You might want to watch the lower 8,410 area also. That's where dip buyers came in last time, but they might look to unload in that area. So anywhere, I'm going to say 8,410 to 8,475, where we'll be watching on any rally for a turn back down. If we do get through there, then the next major cluster is 8,725, very key resistance. And we have yet to form a higher high and a higher low yet on the daily time frame. No divergences on the daily time frame. If we resume our selling again, 7805 next level, then we have a huge cluster at about 7666 to 7685. The 62 and a half level, which is the level we don't want to close below, is 7761. So there's a lot of very key area you all see over here. You know, that's where we're roughly trading. We dipped down just higher than that. That was a little key support back in the middle of April. But the, other than that, if we break down through there, there's not a lot of support. So we could easily go to the 76.66 to 76.85 area. And then if that breaks, the 74.08. Looking back on that four hour again, let's just take another look at that. We are getting a slight divergence here. So we had a low here, a lower low, and a lower low. Here was the lowest reading on the RSI. This one formed a slightly higher reading and this one formed a slightly higher reading. So we are getting a series of divergences. So the sell off is weakening. There is just no reversal pattern here yet. If this does come back down, these prior lows hold, watch for a potential double bottom. And if we get through the peak, that could be a little quick entry if you've been following how we set those up. Checking in on Ethereum, the 50 is holding very nicely. Spiked below it here, spiked below it here. Then we talked about the cluster area coming in with the 37.5. That's what we tested actually low today. And we are making slightly higher lows. We'll check on that on the four hour chart. This is the daily chart. This uh, double is still in play. It's not invalidated yet. Let's just recap if we do go sell off again because we pretty much have a flat rotation zone so that's out of play right now what we'd watch for is if we could get a not really nice move up and separate these moving averages the orange and the blue and then come back and catch on it then rotate higher that's a very strong entry signal if we cannot hold these key lows then we're and we retest the 637 if we break through the levels still haven't changed 612 and 586 to 598 now that four hour chart. So you can see we are making some higher lows. By the way, this is not a double bottom because it's not reversing a big enough of a pattern. You know, we got just above the rotation zone here, gonna collapse back down, caught on the 200 and also the 37 and a half level now, testing the rotation zone. Rotation zone is getting flat and, and weak. We're just into major consolidation. So there's not going to be much help here. On a rally, watch for about a return also to the 718 area could be key. Uh, that's where we topped out here. And you can also watch for the 702. So if we get up to the 702 and through that, then watch for 718. And if at any point we get any big red bars, then watch back down. 
to see if we can make a higher low around 672. Again, nothing we're really doing here, sitting on our hands, waiting until we get either a higher probability reversal pattern, we run up, catch on the rotation zone, or we triggered this double bottom on the daily pattern. Other than that, we're just being very patient with both Bitcoin and Ethereum for the time being. Just a quick little update. We will do more this weekend, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.